everybody what's up it's me your girl soy kaylinda and i'm back with another banger video <laughs> hey guys what's up as you know you see the topic what this is about it's another series of course yeah let's have a sex talk <laughs> with yours truly the soy kaylinda this will be another series added on to my channel and also going to be added on to my patreon and my cocoscope as well as my website so if you would like to see the uncensored version where i have a oopsie moment go ahead over there right now but if you want to stay for the freebie content then yeah we'll keep it you know pg um not pg because i'm still rated r so fuck it but if you want to go over there go ahead over there pretty sure all of my cuss words will be blocked out and you're not gonna see the fun stuff but lucky for you my coco scope will be having a free video of my content and i might put it on my patreon page so go ahead subscribe so that way you can see the free video of this it's a nice little teaser for you and you will enjoy it so yeah well let's get into it well why must you ask that i want to have a sex talk well of course this is supposed to be a sexual inspiration inspirational channel right so yeah welcome now if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and turn that post notification bell on if you'd like to be notified anytime i drop another video because you know you want to see me on your tv screen okay let's go so let's have a sex talk basically today i want to talk about hmm what do i want to talk about today well i have some topics here and i'm going to dibble and dabble in it but i think the topic that most interests me is sexual fetishes and you want to know why well yours truly got started in the industry by how sexual fetishes mm -hmm. that's how i came into play now I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory about who I am if you already don't know who I am. But yeah, my name is Soy Kalinda, aka you probably really know my name, but if you don't know my name, go do some research and figure out what my real name is, okay? <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, I am 26 years old and I live in Florida and I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy girl so yeah <laughs> yeah well basically i started off with fetishes it was so crazy because i always like i did cam modeling when i was a little bit younger probably like 18 when i first turned 18 i went into cam industry and then i actually stripped a few times not really a lot i, I don't really consider myself like a big time stripper but um I ended up starting a YouTube channel that you guys probably all have transferred over from, which I hope so. I started a YouTube channel where I was nursing. Yeah, I was nursing. So it was a high demand on my nursing. It was pretty high. Like I had a Patreon page and I still have my Patreon page where I do posts on there. And I had a Patreon page where I actually just lactated and that really blew me up like to the most. And I remember just being like, yo, fetishes are fucking disgusting. Like, that shit is fucking nasty. Like, why the fuck would I go touch my boobs, drink milk from my boobs, do anything like that? Like, and the crazy part is, I hate fucking milk. I hate real milk. So, it just was always like a, when I first started out. So, that was like kind of like one of the first things that I actually dibbled 
and dabbled into was actually learning about breast milk and how to do hand expressions and basically getting to know my body more then i dabbled into peeing so yeah did a lot of pee videos from time to time and i still do pee videos you can also find a lot of my little fetish videos in the link in the description but yep and then my most recent one that i've really dabbled into and kind of like have been experimenting in is the poo fetish i know 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 poo fetish is really it's really where it's at though poo fetish i feel like it's like you're trying to learn really like how to like it some people really enjoy it i'm learning the true aspects what exactly is the poop fetish where does it come from why do i like it why blah blah so i'm just like really learning about it now when i want to talk about the poop fetish i feel like i learned i'm learning like a lot from it like i'm learning about my own body like i never knew that my body because it's crazy because I remember starting out in the poop fetish. I would watch other poop videos and then I would be like, Oh, what the fuck is wrong with her fucking asshole? Oh, oh my god, ew. Because I never really looked at my asshole to fucking know that that's what an asshole fucking does. It pushes out. But if you play with it enough, bitch, it's going to push the fuck out out and i never fucking knew that shit i never knew that your ass will fucking push out until i've dabbled into this world and now i know that my ass pushes out and i don't know if that makes any sense but yeah my ass pushes out and it's freaking cool that my ass pushes out so yeah i really think that that is pretty cool that you know that happens so i don't know like the fetishes are cool and i also do feet fetish i sell a lot of my feet pics and um i want to learn more fetishes like i can see i have done um findom before and pay pig fetish i actually like those kind of fetishes because i like to control people and give me your cha-ching bitch yes so i really kind of like those fetishes too but if I had to say what fetish I really enjoy, I'd have to say lactating. I really just like to spray my titties everywhere. I, I really do. I like to spray my tits. Yeah. I have a titty spraying problem. That's probably like my number one favorite fetish that I do. Lactating. And, you know, it's just fun. I don't fucking know. Lactating is fun. I like to spray my tits. I think it's awesome. And plus, lactating is pretty cool when you do have sex and, like, you kind of have a oopsie in somebody's mouth. And they're like, oh, I'll never drink breast milk. Well, bitch, you're drinking that shit now, ho. Yeah. So, uh, damn. So, that's basically, like my experience with fetish but when you want to talk about fetishes it's basically how i feel about fetishes really genuinely like i don't like judgmental people when it comes to that calling other people weird and stuff like that i think that it's really fucking rude to call other people weird because they like certain things you never really understand where the root of somebody's fetish really comes from now me being a victim and stuff like that um from things that i've went through i can actually understand where a lot of fetishes do take in place and why i am the way that i am so you can never actually sit there and be like you know what that's disgusting you have to understand people where they're coming from and why they like certain things and i've always been understanding and that's why i feel like i do kind of well in this world because I am understanding and I don't really just go to somebody's thing and be like eh, I'm not fucking doing that oh what the fuck blah blah I'm more so understanding and I actually tell people no like I don't feel comfortable or no no thank you maybe a later time blah blah that's just how I am in this industry I try to be as nice as possible sometimes I can really be bitchy when you keep on fucking annoying me that's when I get really bitchy because I don't like to be annoyed but 
um you know when it comes down to like a lot of things i've learned not to just really be judgmental to a lot of the things that are in the sex industry because everybody has their own preference what they like and um there is certain things that i do like uh, that i'm you know i never was comfortable to say and now i am comfortable to say it, and now i don't care that i say it but there is like a few things that i do like and that i've found myself liking throughout the years of experimenting but yeah guys this towel just doesn't want to stay but um yeah um another thing that we could talk about let's see so i have this here and you know what i want to make a poll for like the next time that i do one of these because i just feel like um don't really have topics like that but you know we're gonna talk about hmm discuss with a partner i'm on google guys looking up oh, what the, bitch i'm falling in this hole i'm sinking do you see anything here? trying to film a video in your aspect let me fucking fix myself okay let's talk sexual history yo i'm still sinking it's all good let's talk sexual history and i guess this mix into body count yes Alrighty. so i guess since i'm telling my about me so i'll keep relating this to me now okay and then i'll relate it to everybody else so sexual history um I've been sexually active for as long as I can remember. Um, yeah. So, does body count really fucking matter? I don't think that it matters, right? It doesn't fucking matter, right? No. I've always just dabbled. I remember, uh, honestly, I don't remember the first time I had sex. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I just don't give a fuck. But, yeah. <laughs> I really just feel like the history of somebody you had sex with really just doesn't matter because i've had sex with people and i don't fucking remember bro like i don't fucking remember and i don't give a fuck to remember let's just be real i just don't care to remember none of that stuff because i just feel like when you're with a new partner what does it matter your past history or what and if you're with a person who gives a fuck about your past history well why the fuck are you not talking about your past history what what do you have on your sleeve okay because actually i've been with virgins and they never even gave a fuck about what the fuck i did in the fuck past because it doesn't matter that does not define who you are and it doesn't have no effect on how you have sex in the bedroom it really fucking doesn't because just sex comes naturally to everybody it's either you know how to fucking do it or you don't or you just learn how to fucking do it by watching some pornos okay and i don't even feel like that really helps but hey if you think it helps you then it fucking helps you but i really just don't feel like body count matters and yeah i've learned to grow from body count i've learned to grow from I just have learned to grow from it because i just remember being a child well not a child a teenager and everybody bitch my pussy ain't loose but i just feel like the sex count and body count just really doesn't matter like I, I really just don't feel like it matters and sex count body count i mean it's history the history what you had before it doesn't matter it's what you're making in the future that's all that matters it's the future we're in 2020 okay people the future is all that matters the future is what we hold in our hands the future is what we can change we can change our future because it hasn't happened yet so you can you can organize your steps into the future or you can fly into the future like a beautiful butterfly fairy ho. Okay, I don't fucking know. But I feel like, yeah, that doesn't matter. Guys, I'm really new to this YouTube shit and having discussions. But you know what? I'm happy I'm doing it with you guys. Let's talk about safe sex. Mm -hmm. Safe sex is very important because if you don't have safe sex, well, 
what can happen? You can end up with monstrous things inside of you. That will turn you into a monster. Okay, let's be real. I feel like you should always be getting tested after you have sex with somebody. It's very important because people run a lot of game and pe some people just don't give a fuck what they do to other people. They don't care. They've been through trauma and they're just like, you know what? This person did it to me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it to everybody else. So I feel like it is important to kind of know your sexual history and also be protected. And yes, condoms don't protect people, but I just feel like you have to be careful when it comes to sex. I know so many people just love to have sex and they, like sex is just like something that you can't control. You just want to have it in that moment. But I feel like you have to use your brain a lot to analyze things and basically be like, you know what? Let me slow it down. Let me get to know this person before I, you know, even dabble into that with that person. I feel like that is extremely important in this world. I feel like this world is full of of problematic things so to avoid a pro problematic thing I feel like you should kind of go get tested with that person hurt their feelings I don't know their feelings shouldn't get hurt if they know they don't have anything I feel like it's important to be like I got paperwork let's do it then after you do it what do you do go take a shower blah blah get tested again the next week after but just keep having sex with that person that week if you just want and can't control it i don't fucking know but i just feel like it, it is important because I've, I've heard so many stories i know so many stories that when you really just don't know you fuck yourself up and it's hard to like you know go in that world and antibiotics and all that stuff it's no joke so yeah, I just feel like safe sex is to be practiced always. Always. <laughs> Turn ons. I feel like you should learn somebody's turn ons before you do things with them. Because turn ons will basically make the sex 10 times better. If you know what somebody likes and then you pre prepare, then. It's a better outcome of sex, right? <laughs> well, guys, hmm, this has been a long video, and I kind of want to get into myself and drop the towel. So, if you want to see what happens after I drop the towel, go ahead and visit my Patreon page or my Coco Scope that is attached in the link in the description, or visit my website. Bye.